Because a good afternoon, you're listening to Making a Difference here on WSDA, and it's sponsored by the Caribbean Ministries of Churches and their pastors. We'd like you to visit Christian Fellowship Church in Smith Bay with Apostle Glastone Hazel at 10 a.m. this Sunday. St. John Pentecostal Church with Pastor Dennis Estridge on the island of St. John at 10 a.m. Living Word Family Ministries. They meet at 10 a.m. with Pastor Damos Ilo. Deeper Life Christian Ministries meet at 10 a.m. with Pastor Agnola Martin. Global Life Church with Pastor Owen Hitchin. They meet at 9.30 a.m. Agape Total Life Center on the island of Tortola. They meet at 9 a.m. with Pastor Dr. Lucia Woods in the Anderson Estate area. Bethel Christian Fellowship Church with Pastor Franklin Connor. They meet at 10.30 a.m. in the Alcohen Plaza along the Weymouth Rima Highway. Remember to visit Tall and Carroll Food Mobile at Fish Street Sugar Estate. They, they provide you your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. TNT Delight frozen fruit drink, call them at 340-344-7310 or 776-7581. Nightingale Wings, non medical home care, call 340-514-5333 and they provide hygiene assistance, lighthouse work, companionship, cooked meals, 24-hour care, six days per week, day or night, short or long term. So right now we are going to go into a service ready, already in progress from Global Life Church, Pastor Oral Hazel, minister the Word of God today on a powerful touch. And truly, we need in St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, the archipelago of the Caribbean, we need a powerful touch. So here is the sermon by Pastor Oral Hazel. A great multitude followed him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And behold, there came a leper, and what worship him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was what? Cleansed. Wow. Man. And Jesus said unto him, See thou tell no man, he didn't want to be a show off, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest. And offer the gift that God command Moses for a testimony unto them. Oh, somebody say awesome. Somebody say a touch. Somebody say his touch. And so here we have the touch of Jesus. And here we have a leprous man who wanted, who got the attention of Jesus. Somebody say the attention of Jesus. You see, there's some people in life who don't want to have the attention of Jesus. They could be going uh, in the... In, in their life in a rock and a hard place. It was a rock and a hard place. And everything can be going wrong in their lives. You understand me? But they don't want to hear nothing about who? Jesus. And now they're telling you when you go to the summary money now, don't end in the name of? Uh, come on, come on. Uh, people are watching us. Uh, they might say, man, they're, they're, we're kind of a little tired today, okay? But we can still say a little thing. Somebody, yeah. Somebody said what? They, if, when you go to the summary monies now, they're saying don't mention the name of what? And no wonder we're going bankrupt. You understand me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You go to the senators to say a prayer to say, we're cool on the, on the name of Jesus. Uh, you, you understand me? And, and there's some people who don't want to have nothing to do with who? Jesus. You got to help me preach this morning. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Because when we recognize who Jesus is, he is the, what, the king of kings. And he is the who? The lord of lords. He is the mighty God. Uh, Jesus, he is our what? Our Savior. So when you don't want to hear the name Jesus, you're saying that you don't want to have nothing to do with our Savior. Who is who? Jesus. And you're saying like the folks who were saying, give us Barabbas, but give us the thief. Give us the thief who is the devil who comes to what? To kill, steal, and to destroy a people, a man, a woman, boy, or girl. God. And so that's what the world is saying. Give us who? The devil. Somebody say, huh? Yeah. We do it by our lifestyle, how we live. You see, some people think that um, Jesus being a Christian is kill joy. But you see, it is God who created us. It is God who made us and not we ourselves. And so when he created us and he put us in the world, he had everything prepared for us. Oh, somebody say, huh? 
the beautiful Virgin Islands. I mean, the beautiful tranquil blue sea, uh, the mountains and the fruits in the mountain and the wonderful scenery. He, cre he created it first because he loved you first and then he put you into that place that he created just for you. I always wondered if, I mean, if, you know, oxygen was scarce, guess who would be selling oxygen in St. Thomas? Oh, somebody said Whopper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be trouble. Because people would be calling to the talk show and say, I'm out of oxygen. I have about one more minute till it. <laughs> Bang. Think about that. Yeah, you will have a lot of talk show debts. Because some of you might not be able to buy oxygen from who? You can have the preacher preach, you know. Some of you like that. I ain't going to say a thing. <laughs> but you all know you all like to say who? Uh-huh. They might say, they still ain't saying nothing. They say, the preacher going to catch me this morning. You could say whopper. Say whopper. Yeah, you could say whopper. You could talk about the preacher. You understand me? So think about if whopper had, you know, you understand me? And, and they capitalize on our oxygen and they're selling you oxygen. No matter how cheap they sell the oxygen, and they're selling us water. Yeah. Pumping the bad boy from the sea, guards who sell out water free, and they just pull salt out of it and send it to your house and they charge you for it. Oh, okay. Somebody say, uh huh? Oh. Yes. You understand me? So Jesus, Jesus, somebody say Jesus. He is King of Kings and He is what? The Lord of Lords. So He's concerned about us. And so He created the atmosphere first to put us in that, that atmosphere. When he created, um, before he created Adam and Eve, he created the atmosphere. He created Eden. He created the spot where they had everything. Gold, silver. We had animals. We had trees. We had fruits. He created it. It was a place of peace and tranquility. And because of sin, everything got torn up. Somebody said, uh-huh. And so therefore we have got to come back to God. I, I believe that uh, what's happening in America, we are becoming so secular and everybody jumping out the closet and we have seen how far we can move away from God and uh, you, you, you see how far and we have uprooted uh, the little prayer out of school and we have separation of church and state and uh, the, the teachers can go to the class and teach math and reading and social studies and physics and all that stuff, but they can't tell them anything about the Bible. When God created a man and put him in the spot and then God gave him the Bible and the laws how to govern his life so that God don't want to kill your joy so that, uh, come on, somebody say, kill your joy so that uh, these laws are to make your life a success. And his laws, they are to make your life a blessing. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Yeah. See the brown, see the white. I mean, going from one and uh, the thrombosis, uh, going from one blessing to the next, and all you're doing, you're passing on the baton of blessing from one person to the to the next. Oh, that's that's God's idea. Somebody say hallelujah. We, we haven't had nations who have dedicated themselves and, and, and communities and islands who have dedicated to themselves and say, we are going to worship the true and living God. Oh, somebody say, uh-huh. We have nations who have dedicated themselves to, to Allah and to other gods. And, uh, and they say, listen, you can't even walk through with a Bible there. We cut your fingers off and we cut off your toe. Oh I can't hear the house up in here. Yep, and, and so therefore there are, there are religions, and, and and the Bible tells us that uh, there will be entire nations that forget God, and there will be entire nations that are going to hell. If they don't heed God, entire family, entire people group within family going to hell. Somebody say, uh-huh. But God's idea is to extend while you are alive and extend a powerful touch. Somebody say, uh-huh. You know, I, I heard this recently. So therefore, while you are alive, you need to be touched by this powerful hand of Jesus. Somebody say, I need the touch of Jesus. Somebody say, I need the touch of Jesus. But this leprous man, he recognized that he had a problem. This leprous man, once you had leprosy, you were ostracized from that particular uh, place. You were placed in a colony and you, do, you were not supposed to be out on the street calling out to Jesus. Uh, most of us worshiping Jesus. But my boy got away from his colony, a leprous colony, and said, I, I heard that there's a man in town doing some stuff. And I'm not going to stay among these other lepers. I'm going to get help. Oh, somebody say, uh-huh. You see, sometimes uh, as we grow up, uh, we're in a leprous colony. We call it um, a, a posse. And you can't get out 
out of um, the, you know, your drinking buddy posse and you can't get about away from the, your, your, your girl posse and we go to Puerto Rico to shop in Miami and we go to the mall up in Miami is what? Sagrass Mall, some of you kind of slow. Y'all bring tired from Carnival. Uh, yeah, and, and shop and so you can't see yourself and say, hey, I Christian now. Hey, somebody say Christian now. I, I got the touch of Jesus Christ. You see, but this leprous man said, I refuse to stay among those other leprous people. Because when they breed, the atmosphere is leprosy. We catch leprosy in airborne. So everybody up in the same colony, we breathing in leprosy and breathing out. Uh, come on, you can help the preacher preach, man. Wake up a little while. I'm not going to be down, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Somebody said, uh-huh. So he said, listen, I'm not going to be here just breathing in and breathing out leprosy. I'm going to step out. I, I'm going to look for the man who can give me a powerful touch. Somebody said, I want a man that can give me a powerful touch. You, you, you know, there's some people looking for a man who could give them some bling and some things and so on. But, but, but Jesus is the man. Ah, somebody said, uh-huh. Once, once you just give you a setup, you're going to look better than Oprah Winfrey, better than some of the, 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 the great stars of the day. Uh, you'll you give you it. Somebody say, uh-huh. I can't hear you. Somebody say, yes. And behold, there was a leper. Somebody say, leper. He had some trouble. He was all sorry and flies got all around him. And he had a troop of flies just following the bad boy. Somebody say, uh-huh. But, but he said, listen, I, I'm, I'm moving out. Somebody say, I'm moving out. I'm going to look for Jesus who can help me. And he began worshiping and he says, Lord, if you will, can you make me clean? I've never heard about you cleaning up a leper, but I'm coming to you. Somebody say, uh-huh. I mean, sick, sorry, and sorry with all my stress and distress, with all the crazy stuff happening in my life. I'm coming to you. I don't know if you have ever touched somebody just like me. I'm a worse sinner even than Hitler, but I'm coming. I don't know if you touched him, but I'm coming. Somebody say, uh-huh. I'm coming burdened down. I'm hooked down with sin man i got 40 years of sin i got i mean 60 years of sin 70 years of sin never touched the master's hand and uh, god he has given you life and put you in the virgin islands put you in the spot to take care of you and provide for you and you're seeing your children and grandchildren some of your great grandchildren but you're never in hell and say jesus i need your touch Oh, come on. Somebody say, Jesus, I need your powerful touch. And, and so we live a life uh, like the folks who are around the cross and say, hey, give me Barabbas. Give me nothing to do with Jesus. But today Jesus is saying, I want to touch you because my touch uh, translates in power. Oh, somebody say, power, power, power to heal your mind, power to resurrect the dead, power to transform your life. Power to put your life back together. Somebody say power, power. Power to bless you. Power to enable you with a power from a different world. Somebody say power to bless me. Power so you can transform your family members. Fa power that, that you can speak into your family and stop the chaos and the struggle that's happening in your family's life. Because something you just can't do it naturally. You're telling, hey boy, stop it. You're doing your own thing and they're doing their own sin. Somebody say, uh-huh. And in a generation, you know, we used to go to the back of the yard, um, the older ones, and just break off a tobacco piece of thing and roll it up and, oh, how we love to smoke the tobacco. We plant in our backyard. And in come our next generation. They start smoking the tobacco. And then boys start smoking there. They start growing their thing too. They start growing their corn. Their tampi. And they say, man, that's not hard enough. And they start lacing their, their drugs and putting it into their thing. And then there's a generation that said, that, mm, that ain't hard enough. And they put their, uh, I mean, their, 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 their faces in a pen. And they take it up after a week and inhale. And then they go to heaven. They say, that's the generation we got. Somebody say, uh-huh, because they're not transformed. And many of them up in our place, because I go there too. Okay, but who did that? You understand me? Defecate in a pan. Think about that. But how, how low sin can get you. Because, if the, because the friends say, but if you do that, you can get a high that you never had. Coke can give you that. Marijuana can give you that. There's a whole other kind of high. Somebody say, uh-huh. I call that the devil's high. Somebody say, uh-huh. And they start hallucinating. And some of them haven't come back yet. Watch a generation. Somebody say, huh? And, and that has to do with families who have um, their grandfather, their father, their uncles, their aunts. Never touched Jesus. So there is no Jesus in no family. You understand me? And this is a chaos that's happening in St. Thomas. And we wonder why all this bedlam happening in St. Thomas. 
Uh, I can't hear you. Because the, the father's in the family to say, hey, son, come on, stop it. You know, I rolled up the other day on a, on a gas station and the, 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 the manager was just telling the guy, listen, when you're pumping the gas, you'll be focused, watch out the, the nozzle and so on. And the guy was looking at the, 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 his manager who, who's playing mad as a dog. Like, if I had a gun, I'd take you out. And he was just so simple. Hey, man, when, when you're pumping, just focus because on the mid back floor. And, you're, nah. and the guy was mad. So when he walked away, I rolled up on the, the manager. I said, boy, you might be the first man who ever spoken to this young guy. Yeah, yeah. Woman, woman at home, he's his mother. Won't woman teacher, he may be, uh, and everything. Somebody said, uh-huh. uh-huh. You're the first man I've ever been in his life. So we wonder why the chaos in St. Thomas? Hey, 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 Because we don't have men in the home. It's gone wild. St. Thomas gone wild. We need a touch, a powerful touch. I can't hear the house up in here. St. Thomas needs a powerful touch. Maybe somebody listening might be copying someplace. Uh, St. Thomas, somebody says, St. Thomas needs a powerful touch. Our homes are in chaos. You understand me? When, when a son can tell his mom, Mom, your, 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 your room looking much better than my room. You come out of my room and go to my rinky dink room or smelly room. And mom tip to tip. Okay, okay, okay. Please. Come on now. When a mom can live in a house uh, and the son have all kind of contraband in the house and the, the police and everybody just hand the house. I say, he lived there, but I don't know what he said. He lived like he's in New York. Ten, ten bolts in the same house I'm paying rent for. Somebody said the devil is a liar. I can't hear the people in St. Thomas. But somebody said the devil is a liar. And some of you got to say not in my house. Oh, I said, brother, 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 you're afraid of your sons, man. Come on, man. I tried to help you. Somebody said not in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody will go home and start turning up bedspread, turning up thing. Look for hole in your, in, in your, in the mattress, all kind of stuff. See what kind of contraband they have on inside there. And they'll be pulling out all kind of bayonet. You might pull that sword like that. He says, son, we got this one. Got this one. Uh, so, uh, come on, y'all are with me, man. Some people, but uh, hey, 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 hey. That's why, you, that's why, that's why St. Thomas is in need of a touch. And we are in need of a powerful touch from the master's hand. And so people who know that we are in, right now, we're in a leprous condition. There was one time, I mean, well, my mom's still in, in, in Jayad, in uh, Miss Sarah Terminal and Jayad area. We live there. And then uh, we could just leave the, the, the door open. Uh. Yeah, yeah, look for the car, just shove it in. Uh. And we go on to work, go to school. Went to Lincoln School. Uh. Just push it in, down the window, home, just pull the door open and you go in. Uh. Somebody say, uh-huh. uh. I can't hear you. you do it, try to do it now. <laughs> now you have a camera coming in the driveway. You gotta want to catch what don't lot to catch the, the number plate coming through. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody and a doctor back, and you have all that, and you still have like, something or something pan you, but it's still coming in your house still. <laughs> somebody say, uh huh. Yeah, somebody say, uh huh. I mean, I catch this guy stealing my, breaking into my house. I saw him God. I say, hey guy, what's up? He's coming towards me. I said, boy, if I had my little thing on me, you catch him at the wrong time. Will we'll I be talking? Somebody say, uh huh. And the police have their dust. They say, you know, if you had used it, you'd be in the, in the caboose. I say, who? I say, me? Uh-huh. Okay. Somebody say, uh-huh. They say, you'll be over on the other side. <laughs> and I'll be over on this side. I just smile and say, okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody say, uh-huh. But she said, no, no. The one only preacher thinking. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to preach, man. We need a, a touch. Somebody say, we need a what? A powerful touch in St. Thomas. We are in a leprous condition in St. Thomas. Okay, and so how we can get out of leprosy is when men and women, boys and girls are giving their lives to Christ and step out from leprous colony. We are, I'm inhaling leprosy. I'm inhaling the same stuff. And then what's happening if, if somebody don't jump out and inhale Jesus and say, Jesus, touch me. We're going to have a perpetration of it. And woe be unto us when we're in the grave. We're going to be rolling and wondering what's happening. They're now killing them all in the, in the cemetery. The last guy, we you know, got shot up running through the cemetery. They said, kill him right there. Running from silver dollar, they were blazing his behind while he was going to the cemetery. Somebody said leprosy. leprosy. Oh, yeah. Somebody look at the preacher and say, Lord, how the preacher does so much things, buddy. Mm-hmm. I live where you live. Somebody say, uh-huh. But somebody got to worship. Come on, somebody say, somebody in the St. Thomas, somebody in your family got to worship. Oh, come on. Somebody say, somebody got to worship. Somebody got to go and say, God, Jesus, can you do this for my family? Come on, so let's, let's say it together. God, can you? 
heal my family in St. Thomas and turn around things. Oh, somebody say, uh -huh. the things that are happening in the Virgin Islands is because of leprosy and passing. We're going to work for the government and then we hook up with other passy. You understand? To see how much money we can get for ourselves. Somebody say, uh-huh. I've been there and I haven't done, done it. Somebody say, uh-huh. Been approached. So, hey, all you can do is just do the thing. So, now, if, and the way I was going with this is that if we were to come out of that leprous state, we would have that, we do economic leprous state in our mind, me, myself, and I. You and I must get all and the crab mentality. If we, and, and we had some people there who had a little God inside of them. Woo! Somebody say hallelujah. Can my friend is breathing leprosy? My other friend is breathing leprosy. You can put your hands together, man. Come on. He says, but this guy who was in a leprous condition. You see, when we are in leprosy, that only translates to leprous people with flies and everything walking in the street. We can have a leprous mentality and a leprous mindset. But you see, when you, you get a powerful touch from God, he will transform your leprous thinking to kingdom thinking. I can't hear you. Come on, somebody say kingdom thinking. Somebody say kingdom. Kingdom. And this man cried out at blood curdling. She said, God, I don't know if you did this before, but I need a touch to change my life. I need a paradigm shift in my life. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, I need it. I need it. I need it. Woo! Somebody say, I need a paradigm touch. Somebody say yes. To change my leprous condition. And we can skip all the way down to number six. You got a promise to be short and sweet. So the power of his touch. His touch is a powerful touch. His touch transforms Simon to Peter and Simon was like a reed. Wishy-washy and in the word of God, he made him a solid rock. Somebody said, I need a rock. God's looking for some men to be rock. Rocks to be prophet, priest and king in their homes. The women, they need some help and speak up to the sons and sons and daughters in the home and just, I just want them to pass through the house. Give them some coffee time and give them some rules up in the house. And so they wouldn't get that get up in our community and break up all the community rules. Y'all could just say, mm -hmm. He touched a Jacob of old. He was a trickster. One was like a reed, wishy-washy. Then not know how he stand. Can't make your mind up. Uh -huh. But this guy, Jacob, he was a trickster, a cheat, a supplanter. You, you, you gamble with him, he's always bringing an extra dice, you know, with all the good numbers in it and, and, and spinning, always winning you. Yeah. Somebody, I can't hear the people up in here. A trickster. But God turned a trickster to Israel, a prince with God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say prince with God. Today can be a prince or a princess with God. Somebody say a prince with God. Someone who has power with God. Who can open their mouth and say, God, my family need help. My family need fixing. My finances need fixing. My cupboard needs some food up in there. Somebody say, uh-huh. Woo! Somebody say, yes. Yeah. His church changed uh, Abraham, Abraham, A B R M, Abraham. It's Abraham, Abraham to Abraham. He was a slave. He was an idolater. And then God touched him, and God called him out from his passy, from the earth of Chaldee. Somebody say, uh -huh. somebody say, a call, a call. And I feel like God is calling some of you out from your passy. I say, uh, uh stop smelling and inhaling that leprous system because it's airborne, and you you gotta move out. You gotta be called out. You gotta step out so you can have the favor of God upon you. Come on, somebody shout and say, I need the favor of God on me. I can't hear you. Somebody say, I need the favor of God upon me. And then God touched a Moses. Somebody say, Moses. Moses, he was a murderer. Come on. I hope nobody in the house kill anybody, but I'm just naming folk. But he was a murderer. And then God touched and called Moses and caused him to be a leader of the prince, a leader of Israel. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. And then he touched Jeremiah, the prophet. Before he was a prophet, he was a nobody. Nobody knew his name. He just busy famine, busy doing his stuff. But one day God called him. Somebody say God called him. God, he called a nobody. Somebody say nobody. They might not know your name or they know your social security number, but God knows your name. Somebody say, huh. And then God called Jeremiah, a nobody, and God turned him into a weeping prophet. Somebody say, a weeping prophet. And then uh, Jeremiah cried out and said, death has come up into our windows. That sounds like St. Thomas's newspaper. Somebody say, death. 
has come up into our what windows we look out of our windows all we hear is debt and we look and we can all we can hear is our debt we stay in our homes so we have you say mm-hmm, another one bite the dust but i'm in my secure home somebody say uh-huh the weeping prophet says what death has come up to our windows because we've all been touched by the spirit of death in the land i can't hear the house up in here somebody says something somebody said mm-hmm and so it says the power of the touch somebody say I need the power of that touch and his touch is an intimate touch when he, when he touches you when Jesus touches you it's an intimate touch somebody say uh-huh Woo, you will feel it coursing all through your body hallelujah no man can do you like that and the woman can give you that touch it's a touch that would eradicate and extricate your sin your many years of sin and load of sin and distress he will just take it away from you somebody say hallelujah somebody say i need that intimate touch ah oh, come on come on come on you know me your mouth somebody say i need that intimate touch because when that intimate touch touches you it will transform your mind your mentality your spirit your sexuality he will transform every part of your life or oh, somebody say hallelujah his touch is a powerful touch his touch is more powerful than the power coming from your station i mean it will blast the smithereen every sin all that beset you it will blast it out of you somebody say blast that sin out of me his touch is a transforming transformational touch somebody say transform my life when your life is transformed then your family is transformed when a man is transformed his wife is transformed when a man is transformed his children are transformed when a man is transformed his grand great his grandchildren are tr- transformed and his great grandchildren they are transformed because you're you are the releasing a legacy of power in the name of jesus through your family somebody said the power come on put your hands together and clap man oh somebody said transformational power yeah 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 and then we talk about the the, the leprous man and he was in his uh, colony and uh, to one more person will share with you and we're gonna close in luke 18 43 to 40 it says and a woman having an issue of blood she had it for how many years 12 years which had spent all her living upon all the physician went to dr schneider went to all the other best doctors i mean and they couldn't find any help you and me ten somebody somebody said uh-huh for 12 years mm-hmm. she had an issue that somebody say it was a cancerous situation that she was just issuing blood consistently but came behind jesus one guy called out to jesus and this woman came behind jesus and what what she did again touch the border of his garment and immediately her issue uh, everybody say immediately come on somebody say what i can't hear everybody everybody say hey immediately her issue of her blood water was stopped that's essential immediately somebody say immediately yeah yeah, yeah. god is in the, uh, the immediate list right now somebody say uh-huh quickly and suddenly and immediately the job will be done you say god you can't touch this like mmc hammer all right you can't touch this but god can touch it somebody say uh-huh come on somebody say god you can touch me come on somebody say god you can touch me yeah yeah you can touch this stuff it's been an issue in my life for a long time i don't love it when i look at my daughter the same issue i had with men she got in it too somebody gotta help me up in here you know and uh, you become older and a little wiser but you see your daughter have the same issue and, 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 you, and you act like your mother too and your grandmother and your aunt is a like, girl you, you, you see the guy up to, hey, up to nothing hey you, you see the guy he pants half down the road here all he wants you know what he want <laughs> acting just like you no, nobody say no the ladies i'm helping me now <laughs> ay, 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 ay. yeah the same issue somebody saying nobody on my side right now ay, ay, ay. somebody say the same issue the same issue attacking you the same issue oh, you, you, and, I mean, in your relationship yeah, attacking you somebody say uh-huh. issue issue not because what somebody break your head over there the other guy who come and he comes loaded driving nice car nice honda let's say nice honda mm, white honda i don't know who have that he said mm, he looking too flashy 
He was going to kiss and run. He said, boy, go, you're going. And that, was, that might have been a guy to, to stay. You could just say, mm-hmm. Somebody say, issues. Somebody say, issues. Yeah, we all got issues. Some of us make up issues too. And tell lying issues too. I ain't going to stay right there, but I'm going to run fast. Somebody say, issues. Ish. Somebody say, issues. Yeah, we had an issue. She had this issue for 12 years. And she said, man, Jesus is in town. The guy with the power is in town. Mm-mm, 12 years, that's long enough. 12 years of stress. Distress. 12 years of agony. Some of us are issue. Some of you got this nice guy in your house and he giving you stress and distress. And you can't make him mind what to do. So you go, he give you a little kiss and he give you a, 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 a bone eye. A little kiss the man. And, mm-hmm. A month pass, he come back again. And boom, bruise up again. Issue. Some say issue. Can't make up your mind what to do. I can't hear you. Somebody say issues. But if you touch the power source, somebody say touch. Somebody help me. Everybody may want to do it, but just touch, just push your hand out and say, if you touch the hem of his garment, issues will stop. Or issues will cease. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, somebody say, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to touch Jesus for yourself. And issues will cease. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes, Abraham one time went up to um, King, I mean, King uh, Abimelech with his wife, sweet Sarah. Oh yeah. And my boy said, hey, you, you, you sweet Sarah looks so sweet. Can she come out to be my harem? He said, yeah, because he didn't want to kill him. King bad. King went, he went, the wife went over there. My boy couldn't sleep all night. God said, if you touch that woman, you're dead. <clears throat> Somebody said, huh. I can't hear you now. In the Bible, so when you give Jesus the power source, a touch of your life, abuse stop. Abuse ceases. Hey, hey somebody say, uh-huh. Yeah, look at them and say, you really happen? It's in the Bible, you know. And let them say, I don't think it happened to me right now. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Somebody say, uh-huh. We have an example in the Bible. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Man, I tell you, you, you that bad boy coming so, and all you hear is broken bones. He said, I get right, you know, get right to the thing. He said, what happened? Don't say nothing. Mm. Give me right to the emotion, drop him off, and come back and pick him up. Wow. Somebody said, uh-huh. Look at them people, now. <laughs> yeah, somebody said, yes. yes. It's possible. Somebody said, it's possible. Yes. With issues, we have issues. We give them to Jesus. Somebody said, hallelujah. Yes. Somebody said, today, today's my day. And then she had, when she touched him, Jesus said, somebody touch me today. Jesus wanted us to uh, encounter him today and touch him. He said, because I feel something. You know, all of us here. And some say, my Lord, preacher, when you're finished soon, I'm going to finish soon. But I want you to touch Jesus. Somebody said, I want you to touch Jesus. Because he's going to get rid of your issue or issues in your life. You thought that no man can handle, but Jesus can handle it. Or somebody say hallelujah. Then he says, woman, go in peace. He says in verse 48, and he said unto her, daughter, daughter, somebody say daughter, Daughter. that intimacy again. You're a daughter of God. Become intimate with him. And he said unto her, daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made the whole. He said what? Go in peace. The stuff that doctors could not do for 12 years. One powerful touch did it. Come on, help me preach and say, what the doctors could not do in 12 years. One powerful touch did it. In the name of Jesus. And so Father, right now, as we sit here, as we take a little moment to pray for folks with private issues in their lives and private moments in their mind and disgusting circumstances and disgusting stress and distress and the entire world want to tear them apart their economic life their sexual life their married life and and job the stress on the job and so father whatever issue that they have right the issues with a mother and daughter issues with father and son this issues between husbands and wife father right now release your power Come on, somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive your power for my home. I receive this Jesus power for my home. I receive it for my community, for my children. I'm going to take it home and I'm going to release it in my home. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, hallelujah. Then he says, as I closed, last closing, in Psalm, in Psalm 103 and verse 12, it says, can you see it up there? 
In Psalm 103, verse 12 says what? Psalm 103, my technicians, I don't go back to the bottom. It says, as far as the east is from the west, Psalm 103, verse 12, as far as the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. Can we say it one more time? As, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. You're saying, God, I, I, can you, do you have the power to remove this? He said, listen, I can take away whatever is disturbing you, whatever is hurting you, whatever is ailing you, whatever leper situation, whatever issues in your life, I can take it away from you and remove it as far as the east is from the west. And I don't think we have a tape measure to do that. Because when we are going east, we might end up going west. And when we are going west, we, we might end up going uh, somebody said <laughs> somebody said don't mess with that and then he says in 2 Corinthians 5.15 he says therefore if any man any woman boy or girl be in Christ he is a what? he is a new creature or she is a new creature he says all things are passed away that's what he would do for you you maybe remember some of them but he said the old lifestyle passed away he says behold all things are become new right now right now and today let's bow our hearts as we pray father we thank you father we deliver deliver this word in simplicity so that your people in this church the virgin islands those who are listening to us right via streaming can listen and so that right now they can get a powerful touch in their lives and as our hearts are bowed and so far we bow in your presence and the things that are ailing us and troubling us taunting us causing stress and distress in our lives we look to you for help we look to you for uh, the master's touch today so jesus release and touch us with your nail scarred hands as our faces differ so are our needs we need touch some of us need to send a touch home to our son to our husband to our wives our children our grandchildren some of us need to send a touch to the united states and uh, uh, maybe afghanistan uh, we have a son on the on the on the battlefield a wayward son uh, somebody we haven't seen during the carnival season who live in our own house and we can't say anything because of shame and pain and so father we release somebody say release release we release the powerful touch on their behalf. Jesus, touch them. Somebody help me and say, Jesus, touch them now. In the name of Jesus. You touch leprous folk. You touch folks who, who are people who were not supposed to be in the crowd. The leper, they were not supposed to be in the crowd. They were with the issue. They were rejected from community and society because of their stench and smell. But they pressed through the crowd. They cried out to you and they said, God, I need help. If nobody up in this house need help, I need help. And they stepped forth. Even though society rejected them. Even though society have a, a nickname for them. And they said, mm -mm, that's the black sheep. That's the, the person who ain't going to make it in the family. But God, you're here, Jesus, you're here today. And you're saying, my powerful touch can assist you in walking out from the crowd and the posse. The stuff that you've been inhaling, the leprous system you've been inhaling, as I believe I have the strength to step out. Because God created heaven for you. And that's where he wants you to go. And now as a pastor, I'm going to ask you if you would let me to pray for you today. While all heads are bowed, while all heads are bowed and people are praying to make a decision to come out from their leprous condition, to be one in a family to step out and say, I got to act, I got to receive this power of Jesus in my life. And so, if you're here, just lift your hands up without shame, without shame, and say, I, I, I want to step out. Young ones, senior ones, just lift your hands up, unashamed, and say, I want to step out of the posse of the crowd and I want to make a connection with this power source. Because Jesus is going to ask you about your neighbor, your best friends and them. He'll ask you about your life. He's going to ask you about you. How did you spend your life? Amen. Are you here? And so you could lift your hands up. As an act of indication. As an act of indication that I'm putting my trust. 
I am putting my trust in the Lord. Amen. I'm putting my trust in the Lord. I'm putting my trust in the Lord. Who will be the next one to join this lady? She came bold. She came all the way up. She said, I gotta come. I gotta come. Hallelujah. Then in church, people feel shame. But in carnival, nobody was shame. Everything was hanging out. Everything. Mama, Papa, everybody. They come to church. So who will make a move for Jesus today? Who will stand? Who will stand for him? In the family, if you, lift, if you lift your hands up in your mind or anything, just meet me up here and I'll pray with you. Guarantee I will not bite you. So you got to come now. If you lift your hands up, maybe your mind, or uh, put it up physically, you can come and join me here. As we pray. To me, I pray for this young lady. <clears throat> Amen. Hallelujah. So Father, we just pray for this young lady who heard the word of God and said, I'm going to make a move to Jesus, a 100% move to Jesus. Because I need a powerful touch of Jesus. I need a powerful touch. So, so just lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Way up as you can. I said, Jesus, I, I need a powerful touch. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, let me hear you. Jesus, I need a powerful touch in my life. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, let me hear you. Jesus, I need a powerful touch in my life. Cousin, good afternoon. You're listening to Making a Difference here on WSDA. And it's sponsored by the Caribbean Ministries of Churches and their pastors. We'd like you to visit Christian Fellowship Church in Smith Bay with Apostle Glastone Hazel at 10 a.m. this Sunday. St. John Pentecostal Church with Pastor Dennis Estridge on the island of St. John at 10 a.m. Living Word Family Ministries. They meet at 10 a.m. with Pastor Damos Elor. Deeper Life Christian Ministries meet at 10 a.m. with Pastor Agnola Martin, Global Life Church, with Pastor Oral Hayton, at 9 30 a.m. Agape Total Life Center on the island of Tortola, they meet at 9 a.m. with Pastor Dr. Lucia Woods in the Anderson Estate area. Bethel Christian Fellowship Church with Pastor Franklin Connor, they meet at 10 30 a.m. in the Alcohen Plaza along the Weymouth Rymer Highway. Remember to visit Carl and Carol Food Mobile. At Fish Street Sugar Estate, they, they provide you your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. TNT Delight, frozen fruit drink. Call them at 340-344-7310 or 776-7581. Nightingale Wings, non-medical or home care. Call 340-514-5333. And they provide hygiene assistance, lighthouse work, companionship, cooked meals, 24-hour care, six days per week, day or night.